BASF Plant Health 2020 Video Series, Advanced Stress Mitigation and Unmatched Disease Control, Validated with On-Farm Trials. Hi, I'm Jared Roskamp, Technical Service Rep for BASF covering Illinois and Missouri. Um, here today I'm standing in a uh, V2 cornfield, V2 stage cornfield in uh, early May. And one thing that's probably not on growers' minds right now, but probably should be starting to be think, thought about, is fungicide applications for your corn. Now, in normal, most years in the past, you wouldn't heard BASF talking about fungicides quite this early, but for those of you that haven't heard, Veltima fungicide is a new fungicide that we're launching for 2020. Um, this fungicide has got a unique uh, ability to absorb into the plant with curative property for knockdown and a long-lasting residual that provides us the ability to have a wider application window with Veltima. So with our research, we've shown the Veltima application window goes from roughly five foot tall corn all the way through the R2 window, even into some early R3 stages, giving us a new opportunity for ways to apply and when to apply fungicides for a value to your crops. So let's look and see what this looks like as far as uh, when should we start spraying if, if I was living in central Illinois. On this slide here, I put in a, uh, this data set shows that um, when I planted my corn on April 15th, if I have 113 day maturity corn, this would be a 30 year average of how that corn crop would progress through the year as based on growing degree days. When I start to look at the hard data that the prediction model kicks out, you can see that my early application timing with Veltima around that V10 timing is going to average around June 18th. That's a lot earlier than we've often thought about applying fungicides, opening that window up to where we've got flexibility to beat disease to the field uh, for those early diseases that show up like southern rust at times, or even just getting out there and getting an optimum application on before the weather gets to us, or even getting those airplanes or ground rigs running a little bit sooner to make sure we can get all our acres covered. So our traditional timing at this silking date around July 7th, as you can see here, would be our typical optimum timing of that VT and when we would normally start thinking about it. But now with Veltima, we're opening another couple weeks up ahead of that in order to optimize and hit more acres to protect more bushels across our farms. So as I think about that earlier application window, many of us may try to utilize our own ground rigs as we have ability to do that in some fields. So let's talk a little bit about setting up our ground rig application for fungicides. So to go through my checklist, the first and foremost thing I want to remind everybody is to clean our sprayer prior to applying fungicides. One reason for this is because a lot of times the last thing we sprayed before we start fungicides was herbicides. And regardless of whether it was a corn herbicide or not, low levels of herbicide applied in the reproductive stages or even in that um, V10 and onward timing can have negative response to corn plants. So we want to make sure we start off clean that way we're not bringing any contaminants into the field. Once we have cleaned out our sprayers we want to start dialing in everything on the sprayer to make sure we optimize our coverage. Even though the product Veltima is systemic in the plant we do want to make sure we optimize coverage and get it the product on as many leaves as possible throughout the corn canopy. One of my suggestions is to use at least 15 GPA. It would be even better to use 20 if you can carry that kind of water. This improves our coverage and allows to get penetration through the canopy and cover some of those lower leaves. Secondly, make sure you got the right nozzle in your sprayer. We can use charts like this to pick out the right types of nozzles that would get us a medium to coarse droplet. So depending on how fast you like to spray and what width your spray nozzles are set and how many gallons you're running, you'll have to use this chart to dial in the right spray tip that you want to use. A couple of spray tip designs that I like for constant flow sprayers would be a twin fan type of spray tip or even just a flat fan that produces a consistent pattern of medium to coarse droplets. For those of you who are using pulse width sprayers, you will want to go check out the, the tip charts for that. So it incorporates the duty cycle calculations as well. We want to make sure that our duty cycles stay at 50% or above if possible to make sure we're maintaining that excellent coverage as we go through the field. So what about tank mix partners? When starting two weeks earlier, we may consider putting out insecticides or nutritionals in with our Veltima fungicide. A lot of times those are excellent tank mix partners, but you may want to conduct a jar test if you've never mixed it before just to make sure we're good for physical compatibility. 
Next, I often get asked about adjuvants prior to tassel. It is still BASF's stance to not recommend adjuvants prior to the VT stage. So in between V8 and VT stage corn, adjuvants are not recommended from BASF. However, the Veltima label states this. If an adjuvant is used after the V8 stage and before the VT stage, the grower and the user are responsible for contacting the adjuvant source for advice and confirmation that the adjuvant has been tested and proved to be safe for application from the V8 to VT corn stages. But for those fields that are fit to have a ground rig applied at corn about this stage, think about how to dial in that ground application and use Veltima and that widened application window to cover your acres at the time that's right for your farm. For those other acres that we may not be able to fit with the ground rig, don't forget that two weeks earlier can also apply to your airplanes as we're starting to see that early tassel or pre-tassel timing with Veltima still fit for these applications as well. Will this early application window replace the tassel? Probably not. We still see the best return on investment at that full tassel timing when we can cover the entire plant. However, that is the, while that's the maximum ROI, we've seen Veltima outperform competition at the early stage and even when you apply Veltima at five foot tall corn, it still performs many of the competitors applied at the tassel timing for bushels. So I've now got a product that I can provide a flexible window of application to find fit what's right on your farm. So as you guys think about this year, it may not be that far away. We may be thinking about how to increase our bushels and protect our yield from diseases and plant stresses this year by using Valtima fungicide in that widened application window, starting at five foot tall corn all the way through R2 to R3. Contact your BASF rep about more information on Valtima fungicide. To learn more about how BASF plant health fungicides perform in your backyard, visit RevXFields.com. Experience the difference.